If your PC is running slow or you think you've got problems, one of the first things we want to do is we want to go into Task Manager. To get into Task Manager, we can go to Control, Shift, and Escape, and it'll bring up Task Manager. By default, um, it will look like this. So all we have to click on is More Details to, 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 to expand and show a lot more of the information. The other way you can get to Task Manager is simply come into your system tray, right click on it, and click on Task Manager. I'm just going to maximize this just so it makes it easier for, for looking. So on the left hand side, this is all the things that are running on your computer right now. What we want to look at is we want to look at what's taking up all the CPU, the central processing unit. So basically, as you can see, not much is happening on mine, but what you may have is you may have one have lots of percentage that's taken up and then lots of memory. So then we look on so the left hand side here and that's the program that's causing the, the problem. So what you can do with this is you can right click and say end task and that will close down that program from using the memory. So end task. The other way you can do is if you left click on it you come all the way down to the bottom right hand corner and click on end task here it does the same thing if it's an essential process what it will do it will just start right back up but that's because it's something to do within the services and then it'll come back up here so we'd have to stop that a different way so if we kill all of those kill that processes that has taken up the memory we can now start playing on the computer or actually start maneuvering or or moving around the computer to, to start troubleshooting if we come over to the fourth tab at the top to start up this shows up shows what programs are starting up when your computer starts up we can enable and disable these from starting up when your computer starts up it doesn't stop the computer stop the program from functioning so you can still click on your shortcuts and run the program all it does is it stops it from running and loading up into memory when your computer starts up and it's as simple as you can either left click on these and click on and disable if it's enabled and likewise enable if it's disabled or you can right click and disable and enable one thing you can use in this feature this is this is where it is you can also use open file location so it'll actually take you to where that file lives so for this one it's c program files x86 microsoft edge and application so that's the name of the file so if it's a malicious file you can just simply right click on it and then select delete i use other deep geek tools to kill the processes and things like this but this is just the simple basics of how to um, stop a program from running when you have no other software um, inside the system and then what you should have is if something when your system starts back up again it's trying to look for that file you'll get a pop-up saying it can't find that file so now we've killed programs that are, are taking up some of the memory and you should start seeing your processes functioning a lot better and the, and the redness go in and your system start to speed up so what I'll do is I'll close task manager for now so what we want to next time look for is any programs that you don't believe that you put onto your system or what things are called is bloatware where something else was added onto your computer when you installed another program so what we want to look at under Windows 10 11 and so on it's a uh, program and features so all we do is we go down to our start menu we right click on start menu and right at the top apps and features so apps and features down here on the left hand side you'll see all of the programs were installed I prefer the old version way of it where it says here programs and features so when we click on here I can clearly see what um, things are installed so then if you go down your list if there's things you don't recognize or a proper company that you recognize it even gives you the date when it was actually installed so if you know things start slowing down on a certain day then that could be the one that was causing you the problem so it's just basically where you install and uninstall your program so you could simply right click and click on uninstall and that should remove it from your system
So then all you do is go down your list and find out which of the programs that you don't recognize or look suspicious because they've got weird and funky names, just random letters and numbers. That's how like malicious files get put onto your system so that it can't be detected as something that's not legitimate uh, or antiviruses don't look at it by its specific name. So if you go in here, uninstall those programs, and then we'll move on to the next thing to try start like defragmenting your, your system. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and give you a, give your system a bit of a cleanup. So if you don't have this PC already on your desktop, what you can simply do is you can just go to your folder down the bottom, your explorer folder and just left click on once. And on your left hand side, you're going to see this PC. So you left click on it once. Now what you want to look at is your main hard drive. Do you have actually have space on there? If it's all bright red, because you're running out of space, you've got too much, too many programs for the size of your hard drive that's on your computer. So that's also another thing to be looking at. So basically you're running out of space on your hard drive. You need to look to expand uh, or buy another, another hard drive or something has taken so much space up on your hard drive. You need to start decluttering. So what we're going to do, do is we want to, first of all, we're going to go in and we want to go and check and delete any of these unnecessary files that Windows puts on your system. So what we want to do, you just right click on your C drive and we want to go to properties. Here, where it says disk cleanup, we left click once. By default, it's just the basics. So down here, we can just check each of the boxes of what we want to, want to remove and delete. Now, if you want to go into a bit more advanced, you can click on clean up your system files. So if you're okay with this one, you just click OK and it will start cleaning the system. I'm just going to click on the, adva uh, yeah, the advanced system. It's just going to do a bit of a process right here in the center. I'll just close some of these. So now here's a few more advanced features. Here's where you'll see like Windows updates that are saved on your that They can take gig gigabytes and gigabytes of space on your hard drive. But the purpose of those are is if you want to roll back because you had a problem with the an update or an upgrade you easily can roll back to the system so it's optional whether you want to remove it if you want to create space but bear in mind if you do remove those you aren't going to roll back past your your last update so we can go down the list and we can check in all the files we want to to clean up and all we do is we click OK it's going to give us a prompt are you sure you want to delete this and then click on delete It'll follow the process and it will start cleaning up everything within the system and it will show you here what things it's actually doing. So that's kind of give you a, a quick cleanup, but that's all right. You've now cleaned and removed some of the programs from the files. But what you've done is you've left holes and gaps, kind of like a fishing net. So basically when you install any, th any program back onto your system, what you're going to get is you're going to, you're going to start putting a little bit here a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. So it's going to be hard for the computer to find where these things are, which is going to make that slow for you to actually um, see the, you know, to, to get the program to run again. So what we want to do is we want to go back into the C drive again, go back into properties, this time into tools and click on optimize. This will give you a chance to defragment your hard drive. So we can want to click on analyze. So it's going to give us a, how much, how bad it, how bad your system really is. So mine's only 1%. And all you do is you click on optimize and away it goes. This is your basic built in um, defragmenting program that comes with every Windows operating system. There's a lot more out there. One really good one is a program called defraggle. And I'll show you that in a second. It's like it's a freeware program. It costs nothing. It's completely free. It's portable, so it doesn't do any install. It basically, when you click the button, it runs. It doesn't install on your system. It just runs from when you click that button. Okay, now the process is all finished. So it should have cleared out your system. So this is defraggle. So I've got in my Geek Tools, D 
Defragler. Defragler portable, so right click. Run as administrator. And basically, it'll give you a visual of here. So if I say analyze, it's going to show me by fancy colors of what's taken up space within my hard drive. It's shown there's only 1%. And we can just click on defrag. And at least you'll get a visual of seeing what it's moving. As you can see, it's like the red speed perspective parts uh, are things that are out of place that are not all consolidated together so what it's doing is it's pulling them all together to make the nice um, all in line all in row so it can read the, the files and information to make your programs run faster depending on how long the last time you did this it can take a lot longer sometimes there we're already at 95 percent it's almost completed so there's the fragment you will have certain things like that and that could be cool because because the operating system is moving the files around and using them so that it can't con consolidate things that are in use well i hope this helped you out yeah and help you resolve the problems any problems just you know drop me an email and then uh, i'll be able to help you out uh, or contact me on social media and I'll be able to help you out further. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.